assalamu alaikum everyone uh, this presentation is regarding various post doc fellowships that are available for the students to pursue after they complete their phd program uh, i am dr salim sumbal here and uh, a bit about myself i am a researcher at uh, hong kong science park in hong kong uh, i hold a phd degree from hong kong polytechnic university hong kong and then uh Erasmus Mundus masters in uh computer vision and robotics from three uh universities Harriet Ward University UK uh, University of Girona uh, Spain and University of Burgundy uh, France so uh this uh presentation i basically developed uh because a lot of people ask like okay what are the different post doc opportunities that are available after you complete your phd degree so uh I am going to describe some of the prestigious postdoc fellowships that are available in in different areas and uh, this is just uh, in this presentation I'm just going to describe uh, all these scholarships uh, yeah, but not in detail so these are just the names and uh, links I have provided here and we'll discuss a bit about these scholarships um, so here uh, I'll just describe different scholarships that are available to pursue the postdoc uh, but uh later on i will develop some of the videos that can explain in detail about each of these scholarships separately uh like for example in detail the application procedure and the requirements and uh, when can you apply when are these announced and details like that so the first one uh is uh, banting postdoc fellowship this postdoc is uh, from canada and i have also provided a link here uh just if you click on this link Uh, it will take us to the uh, home uh, website for this specific uh, fellowship program i will also provide this uh, uh, these links in the description of the video um, let's click on this uh, the first link and it will take us to the home page for this scholarship so here you can see at the top it's from government of canada and if we just a class of this scholarship it will it shows that uh, uh it's normally a two year postdoc fellowship and uh, the reward for this fellowship is um 70000 canadian dollar per year um so and the, normally the eligibility criteria for this scholarship is that canadian citizens can apply for this scholarship the permanent residents of canada can apply and even the foreign citizens it's also open to them as well so worldwide a lot of students every year apply for this program uh, so this scholarship is announced every year and here you can see the deadline for uh, february for the 2022 intake was normally it's around september or october and then the results are announced in february so you can see uh, that uh, the results here you can see the section and there the results for each year are announced here so it has started in 2016 and then it's continuously um they are hiring students for, uh, in this fellowship program and then there are different types review process application process like overview of the fellowship eligibility criteria application guide uh, information for host institutions for referees and all these details So this is also a very good scholarship in which you can apply in different areas of research as they have mentioned here in in health research in natural sciences engineering in social science and humanities so you can apply in different areas um in in this specific uh, postdoctoral fellowship Okay so uh, the next one is uh, Marie Curie postdoctoral fellowship this is also one of the most uh, prestigious postdoc fellowships uh, uh, and a lot of people know about this one there are a lot of facebook pages as well uh, about this uh, scholarship program so uh, here you can see the link for this specific scholarship program so if we click on the link it will take us to that program if you go it can tell you details like what are the objectives who can apply for these postdoctoral fellowships um uh, what are the different types of post doctoral fellowships available and what does the funding cover laying allowance mobility allowance 
right and uh, you also get uh, research training and network activities you also get funding for that um, family allowances there as well uh, and so it's quite prestigious scholarship and you should definitely apply for it if you and uh, almost like the areas they it covers almost all the different areas that we already previously discussed for the banting post of fellowship so uh, we'll see in detail like uh, when we'll discuss like what are different categories under which you can apply for this postdoctoral fellowship uh the third one is irish research council um it's a government of ireland postdoctoral fellowship program it's also another prestigious fellowship program by government of ireland so if we click on the link here it will take you to the website for this program so here you can see irish research council government of ireland postdoctoral fellowship program um so it gives you a background of this scholarship so it's an individual scholarship right for excellent researchers um yet what they offer is like a salary they are mentioned here as well in the first year and a salary of uh, this amount in the second year of the award you also get some uh, contribution as well and then you are also eligible for direct research expenses of 5000 euros per annum okay so uh on the left side you can see apply here eligibility and on the right side you can also see some tabs called documentation so this is a complete guide that how you're going to apply for this specific program uh then there are different application forms uh, mentor form referee form and uh, so you need to uh, like referee forms need to be directly filled by the referees mentor form you need to find a mentor as well for in the universities and then they will also apply uh, they need to fill those specific forms as well through their respective institutions um then there is an faq tab you can also go through that and um, okay what are the key dates here you can see like already for the 2022 intake the deadline has passed right because the award is going to start on 1st of september and they are going to announce the results basically in end of march so the call for the 2022 intake was open on 2nd of september 2021 and the deadline was 22nd of october 